Psych 2 to 7. Study Session 10. Psychodynamic Perspective to Deception. Introduction. This lecture explores the psychodynamic perspective to the use of deception. Learning Outcomes. At the end of this study session, the student should be able to understand the psychodynamic perspective and also be able to explain how psychodynamic perspective is used in deception. Psychodynamic perspective. Psychodynamic perspective emphasizes unconscious motives and desires, as well as the importance of childhood experiences in shaping personality. According to this school of thought, Deception might be a form of defense mechanism employed by people. Defense mechanism in psychoanalytic theory is any group of mental processes that enables the mind to reach compromised solutions to conflict that is unable to resolve. The process is usually unconscious and the compromise generally involves concealing from oneself internal drives or feelings that threaten to lower self-esteem or provoke anxiety. The concept derives from the psychoanalytic hypothesis that there are forces in the mind that oppose and battle against each other. The term was first used in Sigmund Freud's paper, The Neuropsychosis of Defense, 1894. Psychoanalysts emphasize that the use of a defense mechanism is a normal part of personality function and not in and of itself a sign of psychological disorder. Various psychological disorders, however, can be characterized by any excessive or rigid use of these defenses. Reaction formation and rationalization are types of defense mechanisms that can be used in deception. Reaction formation. This is the conversion of unconscious wishes or impulses that are perceived to be dangerous or unacceptable into their opposites. Behavior that is completely the opposite of what one really wants or feels. Taking the opposite belief because the true belief causes anxiety. For example, a mother who bears an unwanted child, for example, may react to her feelings of guilt for not wanting the child by becoming extremely solicitous and overprotective to convince both the child and herself that she's a good mother rationalization, or making excuses. This is a defense mechanism in which perceived controversial behaviors or feelings are logically justified and explained in a rational or logical manner in order to avoid any true explanation and are made consciously tolerable or even admirable and superior by plausible means. Rationalization encourages irrational or unacceptable behaviors, motives, or feelings, and often involves an ad hoc hypnotizing. This process ranges from fully conscious, such as the presence or external defense against ridicule from others, to mostly subconscious, such as to create a block against internal feelings of guilt. People rationalize for various reasons. Rationalization may differentiate the original deterministic explanation of the behavior or feeling in question. Sometimes, rationalization occurs when we think we know ourselves better than we do. It is also an informal fallacy of reasoning. An example of rationalization is when someone justifies his or her refusal to help the poor because he or she wants them to be hardworking and self-dependent. Study Session Summary In this study session, we discuss psychodynamic perspectives as emphasizing unconscious motives and desires, as well as the importance of childhood experiences in shaping personality. We also discussed two types of defense mechanisms, that is, reaction formation and rationalization. Reaction formation is a conversion of unconscious wishes or impulses that are perceived to be dangerous or unacceptable into their opposites. 
while rationalization or making excuses is a defense mechanism in which perceived controversial behaviors or feelings are logically justified and explained in a rational or logical manner in order to avoid any true explanation and they are made consciously tolerable or even admirable and superior by plausible means. End of study session 10. Thank you for listening.